Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Was it worth the hype? Hello everyone, welcome back to another Antwood Movie Mania. In this video I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And I have to say, I didn't like it. Unfortunately, Ghostbusters celebrating 40 years, you thought they would have made something spectacular coming out for this year after the success of Afterlife. And unfortunately, in this film, I didn't like it. Now I am a big Ghostbusters fan, as you can see, I've got the display in the background, I've got Ghostbusters 2 on and for this film I had so much hope after Afterlife and it just didn't live up to what I was expecting. Now there was a number of problems in this film for me personally. Now I went to see it on opening night so I was going to do a review straight away. Unfortunately once a new film comes out the internet gets saturated with reviews, comments, negativity and positivity and everything like that. So I thought I'd give it a couple of weeks, let the dust settle, and then I can gather my thoughts and give you a proper review on this film. So first off, I want to start with the ghost story with Phoebe, the friend that she makes in this film. I thought that sideline plot was not needed at all. I thought it was stupid. I thought the ghost brought no relevance to this film. So I thought that was really bad. That I thought they could have put the focus up somewhere else with that story. Next I thought there, there should have been less CGI and more practical effects because that's what Ghostbusters is known for. Like I thought with the, the sewer monster, the sewer ghost that they were chasing at the beginning, I thought they could have made that a bit better and I thought with the, the flying drone I thought that was new and inventive so I enjoyed that bit. Um, New York, I thought they could have capitalised on the, the city itself more. I don't think they showcased enough of New York City with that being such a central part of the film. I thought they could have um, done a lot more with that. The Ghostbusters. Um, I feel like they should, they should have used less of the Ghostbusters. I mean, with Bill Murray, they practically showed you everything in the trailer. All his parts, there was one or two parts that they didn't, but they pretty much showed you everything of Bill Murray's character in the trailer. I thought Dan Aykroyd, even though he was essential, an essential part to the film, with him, you know, owning the shop and getting the, the ball and stuff, I thought he could have not being in it so much, he could have had less time, screen time and focused more on the new Ghostbusters. Um, Janine Melnitz, I thought she had no relevance whatsoever in this film. Like, she actually put a Ghostbusters suit on, you've seen that in the trailer, but she didn't do anything, unfortunately, which I thought was stupid. The library ghost, that was... The, in the film there was a load of little easter eggs from the original film and I thought they were trying to capture too much of Ghostbusters in this new one. Like they go to the library, you see the librarian from the first one, the curator there, and then you see the library ghost. I mean that was a nice little throwback but there was just too many. Like you can't move the film forward if you're thrown trying to get everything out of Ghostbusters 1 and 2 they just you can't do that no more in the last the last one was the villain the main villain I thought the focus too much with the side plots in the the new Ghostbusters like the new central what's the word where they make all the new traps and trappings and you know, research lab. I thought the focus too much on that. That the bad guy, the villain itself, got lost till right at the end. They made they made it out to be like this big, massive villain, and then he got defeated within like less than five minutes. They, they took they took one proton, a new proton pack to destroy it, and then that was it. And 
through this full film it had lots of problems which I had hard to see a positive I mean I've only watched it once so I will be watching it again and hopefully that will change my mind but unfortunately this Ghostbusters after, uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire I just did not like it at all unfortunately please leave let me know what you thought this is a big rant unfortunately for Ghostbusters since I'm a big fan but please let me know your thoughts on this video. I would love to know. Did you enjoy it? I know a lot of people did. But for me, it's I didn't enjoy it as much. But as always, I am Anthony Movie Mania. Please leave your likes, your comments, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.